Here's how to create a simple app in Visual Studio. First, create a new project. We're going to use the C-Sharp programming language for this example. Under Templates, click on Visual C-Sharp and Universal. Select Blank App and name it Hello World. If this template isn't available, you may need to reinstall Visual Studio and be certain to include the UWP SDK. You'll be prompted to select the version of Windows your app will support. For now, the default settings are fine, so just click on OK. Your project will now be created. If this is the first time you've used your computer to write an app, you may see the following screen. Select Developer Mode. You can click on Learn More to fully understand what this means. Now, double-click on MainPage.xaml. This is your app's user interface, and it will appear when your app is launched. By default, it will be the size of a phone display. Click to select an 8-inch tablet for now. You can also zoom in or out to see more of the screen at once. The user interface is defined using a markup language called XAML. You can always type in the XAML yourself, but let's use a toolbox as a shortcut. We're going to add the XAML control called Button, which as the name suggests, adds a button to the screen. Click on Toolbox and Common XAML Controls. Drag a button to drop it onto the blank app window. Click on the button and look at its properties listed on the right and the XAML control listed below. Change the text in the XAML code. Notice how the button text also changes. Let's test our app. Press F5 or click on the Run button. The app will be built and launched. It doesn't do much yet, so let's change that by making the button do something. First, stop the app from running. Let's add an event handler. An event handler is code that is called when your user clicks on the button. The quickest way to add one is to double click on the button and the event handler code will be generated automatically. Change the empty method that's been created to read like this. Make sure to add the async keyword. Now, press F5. If there aren't any typing mistakes, the app should build and run. Tap or click the button and the computer should say hello. Congratulations, you've just written your first app.